Right, so this is my Nintendo GameCube development kit. It's an uh, NPDP GDEV. And uh, there's also an NPDP G box. And the difference between that one and this one is that uh, that one only relies on this cartridge slot. And those cards are pretty expensive and were mainly used to just distribute builds throughout a game studio, I guess. Um, but this one, uh, as I suggest with dev, <laughs> was actually used for uh, development. So you get a, a PCI card, very proprietary, rare, hard to find hardware that was uh, delivered with this particular dev kit. Uh, and I was very lucky that uh, this one that I bought came with it because usually you don't really see them that often. People don't really know what they are, if that, that they even belong to this dev kit. So I guess they, if they throw out the, the old PCs, they just kind of throw out the ones with the, it's called the Odom card uh, as well. So, but uh, yeah, luckily enough, I got it with this dev kit and actually it's, it looks brand new. It's in really good condition. Uh, so I got quite lucky with that. And uh, yeah, so I picked up this old PC. Well, not really picked up. I had it shipped from the UK. I'm in Sweden. So this cost me like 55 pounds for shipping and like 30 pounds for the actual thing. And I don't know, like, I really couldn't find anything in Sweden. So yeah, just uh, whatever. This is a pretty nice PC. It's pretty like small form factor, I guess, for the time. Uh, pretty clever design, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so it's running Windows XP and it has the card plugged in. And as you can see the, the cable there, that's that's what it connects Throm into. So you get a little program, it's called Odom Serve. Um, if we load that up, it's just gonna say that the device is powered off. Now this is already good because that means it is at least recognized that there is a device. Um, actually, if you don't install the drivers and or something fails, it just throws like an exception. So this is at least a good sign. So let's uh, power it on, see what happens. So I was gonna tell you it's checking, which basically means that it's uh, just seeing what listening for a connection, I suppose. We run the program now, it uh, gives you this program. So this is the, uh, the optical disc emulator. And uh, yeah, you get a couple options here. Open, close cover, air emulation, seat time emulation. Pretty cool little commands, pretty cool little icons, I think. Very uh, 90s, early 2000s, I like that. So uh, now the checking has gone as well. So that's a good sign. But we're actually just gonna run this from the command line. So there were a few demos supplied with the, uh, the dev kit. The first one is the Dodger demo. It is actually uh, made by a company called Radical Entertainment. And they are pretty well known for some of their GameCube games. So it's pretty cool that they uh, made this demo. And then there's also the other demo, which is uh, the NDD or ND demo. And this is basically the uh, the Princess Peach Castle demo that uh, people have already shared a few times. So let's run it from the command line. We're gonna call a program called OD run. And uh, we're just gonna hit enter and see what happens. And there you have it. We're running on the dev kit. Has the, uh, well, let me turn off the light here. It has the Radic Entertainment logo and a little character looking around. So I found that um, taking controller here, if I spam A, it throws these little, uh, you know, rigid bodies to the character. So it's a little physics demo. There's a few other things as well. If you press L2, it gives you this like dump of render information and uh, a couple of uh, other things, memory stuff. Pretty cool. So you can see the frame submit time. I guess if we uh, throw this, that's gonna increase a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Z toggles is like skeleton view. I'm not. Maybe this is like collision. I guess it's collision. I'm not really sure what this is. I think it's collision. Uh, and then R2 gives you like the static camera that you can then like move around with the with the joystick. 
Mm, yeah, I'm not doing a great job here, but it's also inverted for some reason. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, start seems to just reset it. And uh, yeah, other than that, B doesn't seem to do anything. X and Y doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, you get the D-pad, rotates the camera. But yeah, pretty cool little demo, I think. Look at him. Cool, all right, so let's try out some of the, um, the things that we can do with this. I haven't actually tried this at all, but let's see. Let's see what happens if we oh, if we go back to the program and then click disk error emulation. Okay, so nothing happens there. Fatal error, nothing. Okay, well we can try it out on the dev kit as well, actually. Let's see uh, if we click like error. No, nothing. I guess the program is just like not handling those errors. Which is fine. We gotta try that out a few more times, I guess. But um, yeah, let's click reset here. And let's try the other demo as well. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Here we go. Turn off the light again. GameCube world. So I think this uh, this should look familiar to some of you. Uh, it's uh, I think it's publicly available, this demo. I haven't seen much about the other demo, but yeah, this one is pretty well known. Um, here it is. Little error guy. We can go to some rooms and whatnot. Uh, let's see. We just said render modes. Actually changes things in this case. Things look slightly better. Yeah, so let's go to the main menu and uh, check out some of the demos here. Maybe like the cave is pretty cool. Cave, local lighting. Yeah, so uh, pretty straightforward, cool little demo. This is of course just the uh, the tip of the iceberg because there's a lot more stuff that I want to document, like the the, uh, the profiling tools and the debugging tools and whatnot, uh, all the stuff that came with it, that uh, people never have really took the time to check out. Or uh, there's a couple of videos of people showing off their dev kit but no one actually using it. So here's a first. Pretty cool to see that this runs still after all these years. So yeah, that's it for now.